A hydraulic water system is pressurized by a 200 newton force acting on a piston of area 0.01 meters squared. First of all, we need to calculate the water pressure that's caused by this force acting on this area, and then answer on which walls does this pressure act. So let's take a look at this flashcard. So to calculate the pressure, the water pressure that's caused by this force, let's make a data list to start with. So the force is 200 newtons. The area that the force is being applied over is 0.01 meters squared. We're trying to find the pressure, P, so we'll say question mark. Now the unit for pressure could be newtons per meter squared or Pascals, and we'll just use Pascals for the moment. Now we've done our data list, we need to find an equation which links force, area, and pressure. And the equation is pressure equals force divided by area. Now we can solve the equation by putting the numbers in. So we go pressure is equal to 200 divided by 0 0.01. I'm not putting the units in here because the units in our data list are all SI units and they all agree. I don't need to do any conversions. And finally, let's state the answer. What do we get? Well, 200 divided by 0 0.01, that's like multiplying by 100. So we're going to get 20,000 and state the answer. So pressure equals 20,000 pascals. And we could write this as 20 kilopascals, where the little k here, lowercase k, is a prefix meaning a thousand. So this is a pressure of 20 kilopascals. I'm not sure this fish would appreciate that unless it's a, a deep sea fish um, where the pressure is very high. Anyhow, so what about the second question? On which walls does this pressure act? So pressure is transmitted equally in all directions. So the pressure in this water system will be acting in all directions. So we will have pressure on this wall, on the up, upper wall, on the top wall, on the back wall, every single wall, even on the fish, even on the insides of the tube here. And that pressure will act on the area of the wall to create an outwards force, trying to push the, the system, push the tank outwards. So it's worth noting, pressure is transmitted equally in all directions. All directions. So therefore, the pressure acts outward, outwards equally on all the internal walls. And we can say creating an outwards force. Okay, so that's a calculation of pressure using pressure equals force divided by area. Make sure that the units are in newtons, meters squared, and the pressure will come out in pascals. And if you see any prefixes, then you need to convert those in the data list. For example, the question might have given you the force in kilonewtons. It might have said it was 0.2 little kn. And we would need to convert that in the data list at the beginning to 
200 newtons by multiplying by a thousand in this case because k kilo means multiply by a thousand.